Okay, welcome to our latest Swampcast. Pat Dooley and Robbie Andrew of the Gainesville Sun. And Robbie, i got to change shirts before we go to lunch. You're wearing your Kentucky shirt. It is kind of Kentucky-ish. Now, Florida is So are you picking Kentucky since you're wearing their shirt? Um, I can't respond to that. but uh, You look good in that tailgating on Saturday if you did. Yeah, they would like me. Yeah. yeah. They would go, oh, hey, Kentucky. They'd be high-fiving you on your way to the press. Oh, big blue. Uh, no, I've got another one picked out. It's, it, it's totally neutral. In fact, okay. I think it's beige. But... Um, Obviously, we've been there a few times, Rob. Yeah, the atmosphere there is really good. It's gotten so much better. Well, I mean, they, they made uh, great uh, additions and, and changed the stadium. It's really one of my favorite press boxes. Now. Yeah, me too. I know everybody And, cares and anybody that. that thinks that's a basketball school only, go to a football game there like this one. You'll see that they yeah. love football too. It's the same crazy nut fans that uh, get passionate about it. Uh, but, it, again, it's not like the swamp. You don't no. have the same number of people. It's not like uh, – Certainly not like uh, Alabama or Auburn and places like that or Baton Rouge, but it is a good crowd. It's a tough place to play, as Florida found out two years ago. Two years ago. Yeah, they should have lost that game. Should have lost that game. Kentucky was the better team that night, too. And they lost to them last year. And i got to tell you, that was one of those games where I said, I think Kentucky's got better players in Florida. Yeah, I think we all walked away from that, Pat, and they physically dominated Florida. Now, I don't think they do this year because of all the talent they lost. A lot of guys lost to the NFL not just Josh Allen and Benny Snell, but they lost a lot of the secondary guys that made it yeah, to the Yeah, I mean, their whole secondary, yep. basically. And now Terry Wilson's gone. So. Yes, and so that's a big factor. Of course, uh, Sawyer Smith, the new quarterback, grew up in Pensacola. That's uh, a great name Pensacola. for quarterback. Yeah, yeah, everybody. And they they may be the all-name team because you got Cavassier Smoke. Oh, well, that's a great one. Yeah. He's and pretty good, too. As, uh, Asim Rose. Mm -hmm. Smells like a rose. Good running backs again. They got good tailbacks. And, I, and this is what I wrote about in today's paper. Um, he's recruited well enough that it's not like there's this huge drop-off from last year. There certainly is a, is a slight drop-off. But he, it's not like they're just filling in with um, a bunch of stiffs. This isn't your old Kentucky team. Yeah. Well, you know what they're good at doing, Pat? Scouting the guys they recruit to know, know they can play and then developing players. That's right. what it's all about. Which, they, they develop players. That's why his program has gotten yeah. so good. And Dan Mellon mentioned that. He said, you know, that um, they find guys that fit their profile, which is what he did at Mississippi yeah, State. Yeah, exactly. It's the and he's doing kind of here, too. You know? I think that's why he respects yeah. him so much, because he's doing it the, the right way, the way he did it at the state, like you said. Yeah, this has been kind of my theme for the all week, is that Kentucky's good enough to beat Florida. I think Florida's a better team. Obviously, Florida is a favorite. It's gone from 10 to 8. It's dropped down on the – on the scale, but if you're an eight-point favorite and they give you three for home field, then you're like an 11-point yeah, favorite. Yeah. So I think the quarterback obviously hurt him. But uh, Sawyer Smith's got experience. He played uh, several, well, seven games as a starter at uh, Troy. But um, you know, I pointed this out in my Saturday column, Robbie. He's never be won the job. No, he didn't win the job at Troy. Guy got hurt. And he got in. He didn't win the job here. Uh, but he did win the second team job because there yeah. were there were other guys there. So. Um, well, he put himself in a position to be yeah. where he is now, so give him credit for that. It'll be interesting to see how he how he plays and what they do. I, I tell you, to me, the key of this game is Lynn Bowden because they, yeah. they love him as a receiver. They love him as a Wildcat quarterback. He's a former quarterback. He can really throw it when they put him in that. Florida's going to have to really be on their toes when they line him up at the yeah, Wildcat. Yeah, they're going to see a ton of that guy, Pat. He is very explosive and very versatile, so they're going to put the ball in his hands. And they've got some really good defensive players. Uh, uh, Pascal, who was a guy that uh, missed almost all of last year. You didn't see him against Florida last year because he had skin cancer, believe it or not. And uh, he's back now, and he's played the last three games last year. He's playing this year. Uh, he's already shown that what a good player he is. Um, they, they've got some, some certainly some guys they do. That, that can play. So, you know, look, I believe this is a game. Do your job. Yeah. If, if Florida goes up there and they do their job, continue to clean things up on, on missed blocks, continue to tackle better, continue not to have penalties like they did last week, yeah. I think they'll be fine. Yeah, they have to play well, though, Pat. This is yeah. an SEC team on the road. If you don't play well, you're going to lose, bottom line. That's the way it is. In this and if the offensive line is bad, chances are they're not going to win either. Well, and that's going to be – I think that is what we're going to be keeping an eye on when oh, we're yeah. up there. Um, that's going to be a big factor. And, you know, look, the bottom line is for Florida, they need, need to if – if you can win this game, now you are set up to, to – Coming home. Well, you come home, you play Tennessee, and we know what's going on there, and you get Towson. And then you go into that stretch of Auburn and LSU and then eventually Georgia, of course, South Carolina, too, in there, where your, your season is going to be defined. 
You don't want it to be defined by the Kentucky game. No, that, that sets up all kinds of trouble down the road. And it was different last year. When they, when they lost to Kentucky, it was a great eye-opener for this team. They don't need their eyes open. They know no. exactly what, what they need to do, yeah. and their coaches have been with them for long enough. They need, need to go out there and play a good yeah, game. Yeah, that game showed them what they needed to do. They did it, so you got to keep that going. Yeah, and they know now, so they, they, they kind of can't afford to lose this game. So – We'll see what so happens. So you're saying must-win game, Pat. I think it is. I agree with you. I think yeah. it is, too. Yeah. I, I don't I don't think you can have a special season if you lose this no, game. No, you can't. And when, by special, I'm talking about 10 wins. You know? Yeah. Uh, I don't think you can do that if you lose this game with, with what's up coming up. Uh, but we'll see. We're looking forward to getting up there, although usually we go up there, we walk off the plane, and that cool breeze <laughs> hits you. It's like 72 Not degrees. Uh, it, they're, they're like everybody else. It's hotter than the heck up You there. look at the map. It's all red yeah. everywhere. Hopefully we just get there and get back alive. That's our only our only goal. But now it's time for you to take your Kentucky shirt off, Ben. It's not coming off in front of, <laughs> well, in front not of on any camera, cameras. of course. No. no, I'm gonna keep it on until I go home. But uh, <laughs> Karen might want you to keep it on too. Forever, yeah. <laughs> All right, that's going to do it for our Swampcast. We'll be with you. Now, we're going to do Facebook Live uh -oh. on the uh, – we're going to try. We've got our little thing. So, after the game, after we get done with our, with our writing, we'll do a Facebook Live Swampcast from Lexington. So, we will attempt to yeah, do it. Yeah, we'll attempt to do it. I'm going to practice today. Okay? There could I'm be a, cussing involved. I'm going to send out a test. Well, there was cussing involved in Dan Mullen's halftime. Yeah, it uh, got on the air, too. Exactly. So. Cussing apparently is okay now. But we will try not to. Till next time, Pat Dooley and Robbie Andrew of the Gainesville Sun saying so long from the Sunshine State.